Snoop Doggy Dog. Bow wow wow yippee yo yippee yay bow wow yippee yo yippee yay. Hello friends, it's Kasha. Welcome back to Beer and Beauty. Today's libation of the day is a 19 Crimes Cali Red. It's the Snoop Dogg wine. Yeah, they just, I think it's just called Cali Red. And that's why I was drinking, I was singing the Snoop Dogg song earlier. I actually went to a Snoop Dogg concert once and it was one of the most fun things I ever did. I'm in a little bit of a weird mood today. Today has had a lot happen. But I guess before we get into all that today, let's try today's libation of the day. The 19 Crimes Cali Red. Cheers to that. Absolutely delicious wine. It's just, I don't know, it's really drinkable. It's got a little bit of sweetness, but it's a nice dry wine. It's really good, I like it. You know, I don't think Snoopy would put his name on something that wasn't so good. Good job, Snoop Dogg. Your wine is good. I recommend it. Today's video is gonna be an empties video. I haven't done one of these in so long, you guys. <laughs> I'm, this is why I should really be doing monthly empties videos because look at this nonsense. This is so much stuff. We're gonna be here for a long time. I'm gonna try to do this thing where I don't talk about each thing for more than a minute because we'll be here all night if I spend more time than that on everything. There's there's a little bit of everything here. We got vitamins, we got candles, we got skincare, we got makeup, we got hair care, we got body care, bath and body. We got a little bit of everything here. So let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> uh, the reason I'm in a little bit of a weird mood today is because first of all, uh, I just knocked a lamp over which fell on my face and I can see that it's, my face is swelling right there a little bit, so. But I'm okay now, I'm feeling better. It also broke and cut me right there, so that's, that's fun for me. So that's why I need the wine, but also, it's a celebratory day because I just, I just put down a, a deposit for a new apartment, so I'm gonna be moving out of this apartment, so this, is, this might be one of the last videos you see in this setup and where we are here right now really small. It's probably going to be very difficult for me to film videos in, in that new space, but we'll figure something out for sure. But yeah, I need to do this empties video because I need to get rid of all this trash because I need, I'm going to be need, I'm going to need to downsize quite a bit if I'm going to move into this new space. So some of that will be happening for sure. It's good that I haven't been I haven't been buying a lot of stuff lately. Uh, I have bought, actually, I am wearing a new eyeshadow palette. I bought the Jackie Aina uh, Anastasia palette, and that's what I'm wearing my eyes today. It's actually really lovely. It's one of two eyeshadow palettes I've purchased in the last 12 months. So it's not a huge investment, but it's, it's good that I'm, I worked through all these things. I'm, I'm going to be in, I'm probably going to be doing another empties video soon because I'm already very close to emptying a lot more stuff. So. Uh, I guess without further ado, without further rambling on, I'll, I'll do a video where I do a get ready with me and I'll tell you more about uh, everything then. But there's a lot going on this week, a lot going on this month, a lot going on today. So let's go ahead and get into the empties video. Cheers to that. I'm going to go get a timer because I don't want to drag on with each item. So I'm going to try to keep everything rapid fire, keep everything down to a minute. Okay, so the way I usually do these videos is I go in order of category. I usually start with like home goods, like I start with candles first and then I go to vitamins. Then I go in order of my uh, routine basically. So then I go to like toothpaste, a bath and body products, then skincare, then makeup, and hair care, then skincare, then makeup. So yeah, we got a lot to go through today, so right. So the first thing in my empties is this candle. It, I got it at uh, Ross for about $7. It was a big candle. It's the kind with the three wicks. Um, it's the Loving Rose scents, scent from the company Ivy Botanicals. I absolutely loved this, the scent. It lasted a good amount of time, but actually the candle that I have burning behind me right now, I, I also got it at Ross. I also paid around $7 for it. Um, it's a... Uh, it's a woodwick candle, so it's the kind that crackles, which is really nice, but I love rose scents. This this candle gave me a lot of joy, so I'm very happy with that. I love woodwick candles as well, <laughs> but we're not talking about that right now. I just, another thing that, I buy all my candles from Ross. I recommend going to Ross because they always have really quality candles at really great price points. So I, I tend to buy all my candles at Ross, um, and I would recommend that. Next 
is uh, vitamins. I have three that I emptied out since the last time I did an empties video. I haven't done an empties video in so long, but I emptied out this woman's multivitamin gummies from Nature's Bounty. These are very delicious. Uh, that's the thing that I really love about this brand and this type of vitamin is that these are the most, the, the best tasting vitamins I think I've ever tried. Nature's Bounty. Uh, I've tried this hair, skin, and nails one before, but then I tried this one. I think I, oh, I got this at Ralph's. It must have been on sale or something like that. I don't know if how healthy it made me feel, but it was delicious and was very easy to get go through this, so I recommend that. I also finished out this mega food uh, turmeric strength, uh, like turmeric supplements. I take these for like anti-inflammatory purposes, and turmeric is supposed to be really good for your skin. It's supposed to be really good for taking down inflammation, whether it's from exerting yourself during a workout or maybe you are somebody like me that suffers from a lot of inflammatory conditions such as like eczema and psoriasis. Ah. I am not going to repurchase these however because apparently it might not be enough curcumin. Um, actually, I have to look at that. But I, I'm taking a different a curcumin supplement. Uh, curcumin is the active ingredient inside turmeric that gives those amazing properties to you that takes down inflammation. Like a Whole Foods worker told me about how like curcumin needs to be a certain amount of potency to be like considered good. And it's best to make it yourself. So I might actually experiment with trying to make it myself. But right now I'm taking like a different curcumin supplement from Whole Foods and I don't take it all the time. I take it like after like a workout or whenever my skin is actually acting up. So I uh, I won't be repurchasing. I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing this, but I guess I'll check out compared to the other uh, supplement, the, the one that I got from Whole Foods, the curcumin supplement. Um, and then I also uh, finished out this Garden of Life Mood probiotics, the, the the mood kind. It's the 50 billion probiotic sp strains kind. Uh, this is a really good brand of probiotics. I, I actually really enjoy everything I've tried from this brand. I'm using an, a different probiotic that's even more intense right now. I don't think... I, I can't tell you if it really did that much for my mood, but uh, I don't know. Like, I like taking probiotics. I feel like my immune system functions better, my entire well-being is just better when I take uh, a high potency probiotic, so um, I probably will revisit this again or like a different Garden of Life probiotic because they do make good products. I like this brand. Okay, so now we're moving on to health and beauty stuff and uh, since the last time, last time I did an empties video, I went through a lot of hand sanitizer because you know, you know how it is going through lots of hand sanitizer these days. So I've got four here. Uh, the first one I got for free at an event a while ago, but I know that you can buy this stuff at Target. This is the EON Sanitizing Mist. It's like a little sea salt concoction of sorts. And I used it as uh, like, I used it as a sanitizer for my services in my car. And it leaves like this like salty, weird residue. I didn't really like it. So I won't be repurchasing that. This my boyfriend picked up at Walmart uh, because we, uh, before we were gonna be driving back to, what do you call this place? California from Massachusetts uh, over the fall. So he bought this then and I used it up since that, since that trip and I don't think I would repurchase this again because this formula from Suave, this is the Suave hand sanitizer that you can get at Walmart. It's pretty sticky. It's not very drying which is nice but it's too, it's sticky. It's weird. It's a weird texture so uh, I won't be repurchasing that I don't think. This bottle of hand sanitizer I got from Grubhub as, uh, because I'm a Grubhub driver, uh, they get, they sent free hand sanitizer to everybody. Um, it was actually a really nice hand sanitizer. It wasn't overly drying, uh, but it wasn't sticky. Uh, it's nothing special. It doesn't smell like anything. It's just like regular unscented hand sanitizer. It doesn't even have like a brand name. It's just very regular. So I used that up and, um, uh, I would use it again, I guess. Uh, but, you know, I got it for free, so that's something. And the last hand sanitizer that I have to share with you is something that I got randomly at, like, a convenience store. This is the Super Gentle Antibacterial Hand Sanitizer. Looks like this. It's, it's nothing special. It's just a cheap hand sanitizer 
It's a little bit drying, smells very alcoholy. I probably won't repurchase it, this one in particular. It's not it's not special enough for me to repurchase, so I will be <laughs> I won't be repurchasing any of these. I have a couple uh, hand san sanitizers going right now. One of them's pretty fancy, but as you can see, my hands are really dry. <laughs> so um, I'd also be I have another thing to talk to you about soon. So. I'll be mentioning um, hand creams and stuff too because I'm going through a lot of those lately as well. But yeah, I tried all these hand sanitizers up. I used them all up and I won't be repurchasing any of them. Okay, some more health and beauty stuff. First, I got this uh, Up and Up Dental Floss from Target. Uh, this is just like the Glide one. I really like this one. It's a good price point and it's really smooth to floss your teeth with. So. I actually have a bunch more of these going and I will be we're purchasing these too because um, I just need my floss to be like glidey and I need it to be cheap. So this is what this does for me and that's why I keep Next I used up this tube of Moon toothpaste. I actually really love this stuff. It's a it's a sulfate free toothpaste. Sulfate free toothpaste is important to me because I have dry skin and toothpaste that is filled with sulfate makes my lips dry uh, and gives me angular dermatitis so it gives me the um, the crack the cracking in the corners of the lips which I hate I can't stand it so a sulfate free toothpaste uh, no we'll take care of that and I like that this toothpaste is very aesthetic uh, I like the packaging but you know because it's in the black packaging it would make you think that it's gonna be a charcoal toothpaste but it's not it's a white toothpaste I like that actually I don't think I'm going to be buying charcoal toothpaste ever again because I hate how messy it makes my bathroom. Like it, the, the little black spittles get everywhere. And this is just white and it tastes good. It's very aesthetic I and you can get it on Ulta. And I have another tube of this stuff uh, going right now. So I might actually very much, very well repurchase this because I like it and you can get it on Ulta. So next time. I need to fill up my cart with a bunch of stuff, I probably will throw another one of these into the basket as well because it's aesthetic, it's a it's a pretty good price point. I think it's like, it's a little bit expensive for a, a pretty small tube of toothpaste, but it lasts me a good while and I like it very much. So I like, yeah. Next is I used up this native deodorant. Um, it's, a, it's a natural deodorant, it's aluminum free. And this is actually probably my favorite natural deodorant I've ever had. I've tried uh, the Schmitz deodorants before, and I've tried the Crystal ones before, uh, but this one's probably my favorite. It's very effective. It doesn't block smet, sweat, but it like, I do not smell when I wear the stuff, and I feel like confident that I'm not hurting myself by putting aluminum on my body. And uh, but I will say that it goes really fast. Like my Old Spice gel deodorant has lasted me for years and years and years. I can't seem to get rid of it. But this was gone in a matter of, matter of couple of, of months. Like I actually bought it last year, but I put it aside because I didn't want to use it too fast. There's actually a little bit left, but at this point I'm calling it just because it's like pretty much all gone. There's like a, like a week's worth of uses left, but I'm calling it now. But I really like this stuff. I got the lavender rose scent. I might try a different scent next time. The scent is actually not overwhelming, but I, I like it better than the Schmitz. It's a really good deodorant, really effective. It really definitely deodorizes. It's not an antiperspirant, but it's not claiming to be one either, but it's a it's really good. I just really like this stuff. I recommend it. Okay, I think I've abandoned the timer idea because I keep stopping to turn off the timer, so that's a bad idea. So I'm just gonna try to go as fast as I can. And the next category is uh, Bath and Body Care. So yeah, I have quite a bit here from Bath and Body Care. I'm holding my hands in my scrubs. And first I'll share with you this Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I was using this as a hand cream. I used it all up. It's really lovely. It's uh, very inexpensive. You can get it at any drugstore. Um, it absorbs into the skin really quickly. I think you can use it anywhere, but I used it specifically as a hand cream because I kept it in my purse um, and I got went through it pretty quickly because I was, I've was i been using so much hand sanitizer. And also it's a little bit, it's a really dry winter in LA this year. Uh, my, my skin is just dry in general. Like I can feel it in my face. I feel the tightness in my face, in my body, in my hands especially. My hands are really suffering. I like the, the, the oat and the emollients in this, but I have 
moved up to something a little bit more emollient and even richer than this. So I won't be repurchasing this. I might repurchase it as something for my kit, but right now I, um, I'm all set with this. I won't be repurchasing it for a little while. Next, I've got four scrubs to share with you. Yeah, we'll, we'll go through scrubs next. So first, um, I didn't... Okay, so this is in a repurposed container. This is a container that once housed the Dr. Teal's salt scrub, but uh, I made my own little concoction of scrub myself, and it was supposed to be like an anti-inflammatory eczema kind of formula. I used uh, mineral dead sea salt, and I used neem oil, and I used shea butter, and a big concoction of different things that is supposed to be like really nourishing and healing for eczematic and inflammatory skin. A um, little bit of hemp seed oil, lots of stuff. I did find that the Dead Sea Salt that I used, the Monera, it's really amazing for psoriasis and eczema, but it breaks down really easily in the form of a scrub. I feel like the, the, the oily base that I used it in was too oily, like I needed to up the amount of salt that I used in it, so I made another batch and uh, I'm experimenting with that now as well. I like doubled up on the amount of salt and I used a little bit of that batch as well yet uh, the other day and it still like breaks down a little bit too fast, so I might even double up even more on the formula. And I am uh, selling this on my Poshmark and my Etsy but I am still like making sure to make the best pop possible formula and you guys can uh, check in with me on that if you are concerned whether or not I've per perfected the formula yet. I'm sure I will very soon. But as far as moisturizing and anti-inflammatory properties, it's I feel like it's really working. Like the eczema on my foot seems to be almost gone. Uh, I have almost no psoriasis left on my entire body, which is crazy because it's winter and usually it acts up in the winter, but instead it seems to be going away pretty quickly. And it's probably because of the different things I'm using. Um, I'm experimenting with a lot of different formulas that I've, I'm, I'm going to be taking, talking to you a little bit more in a moment, but I, I'm, I use a lot of bath and body products because I have very temperamental skin and I, I like a good luxury scrub I've, I've gotten because this is such a process to take care of these things i you know invested my time into making some of this stuff myself and uh, perfecting the formulas and make them making them really enjoyable to use as well as, as effective so i feel like uh i'm getting towards that goal all the time and it's it's been really fun but i guess i'll talk about this one next this is the Tree Hut Vitamin C Scrub. I've talked about Tree Hut Scrubs so many times on this channel before. I think pretty much every empties video, I talk about another formula from um, the Tree Hut line. This is their Shea Sugar Scrub Vitamin C formula. It's got vitamin C and alpha hydroxy acid and shea butter, of course. And this stuff is amazing. I thought this was really great, great price point. Really easy to use in the shower, it doesn't make a big mess. Uh, and it, uh, the alpha hydroxy acid is really amazing for KP. So it really like smooths out those little bumps that you get on the backs of your legs and the backs of your arms. Uh, keratosis polaris, I think that's called. And I, I don't know how much vitamin C helped, but I feel like the alpha hydroxy acid really does a great job smoothing out your skin, especially in cases of keratosis polaris, but it, I feel like it uh, helped with my dry skin and and even psoriasis and eczema as well. Um, but you gotta follow with like a good moisturizer as well. But I really like this stuff. I probably will repurchase this again. And I keep buying different like formulas from Tree Hut, but this is probably one of my favorites. Like it's really effective. I like that one a lot. This is a coffee scrub from Frank and oh, Frank Body. I got this in a box of charm a while back. This was really lovely. I really love this formula. It's like a it's a, co it's a coffee scrub and I make coffee scrubs myself, but I definitely really enjoyed trying this from BoxyCharm. I really like that I got this from BoxyCharm because it smelled great. It had like a little bit of like a citrusy thing going on because of the, there's like citrusy essential oils in here, but I liked that it was a, a drier formula. I don't know, the texture was really nice to scoop. It's a lot finer than the coffee scrubs that I make myself um, and a lot drier. 
And I think that next time I make a coffee scrub, I'm going to try to make it drier and finer as well because I really like the effect of this stuff. It provided a very beautiful, like the most intense exfoliation. I feel like my skin was so soft and touchable after I used this stuff and yeah, it makes your skin super smooth, glowy, but definitely do follow with a lovely moisturizer because um, it really kind of makes your skin exposed. But I would like to see some more skin loving ingredients than this. So I won't be repurchasing this, but I will take some pointers out of this formula into my own coffee scrub that I make myself, that I sell on my Etsy as well as on, I'll add it to my Poshmark page if I don't have it there. Okay, one more scrub I got. This is the Earth Therapeutics tea tree cooling foot scrub. I got this for free as like a gift in an Ulta order. I didn't really like this. I feel like it broke down too quickly. It wasn't really that cooling and it went really quickly. This little tube, but like I must have used it maybe not even 10 times in the, in the shower. Yeah, I don't feel like it really exfoliated my, my feet. My feet really need a lot of, of exfoliation. Uh, I've got eczema on my feet, so like there's the ultimate TLC and this didn't really do it. I won't be repurchasing this. I didn't really like this and I didn't feel like it was particularly cooling. It's got chamomile and tea tree oil in it. I don't, th it didn't really improve my feet at all. Like it didn't uh, do much for the eczema whatsoever. So I won't be repurchasing that. I didn't really like that. Okay, so my hands were, I was just talking about hand lotion. My hand, I noticed how dry my hands were so I had to totally put on some lotion. Especially because I am about to talk about even more lotion. But before I talk about lotion, I guess I'll talk about body wash. I used up these two guys since last time I talked to you. This this little sample size I got from this place called Indira Imports. Uh, it's in Santiali here in LA. That's where I buy a lot of my ingredients to make my own stuff. And I actually really like it there. They have really... They, they have so many great ingredients. I don't know. I love... As because I went in there and I bought so much stuff one day, the owner like gave me a bunch of free samples and this was one of them. This is their or organic African black soap and it's got aloe vera and vitamin E. It was lovely. It didn't really like suds up or do much, but I, th I feel like my skin liked it. I felt like it was moisturizing and I just felt, cl felt cleansed. It was actually... For something that is just made with a bunch of natural ingredients, I thought it was nice. It's got organ oil, rose water, vitamin E, aloe vera, shea butter, plantain skin ash, what? <laughs> Cocoa butter, at what point is it body wash though? Like at what point is it sudsy? I like African black soap, I feel like it's good for the skin. But anyway, um, this is a Trader Joe's nourishing shower bath cleansing oil. It's like they're with sweet almond oil. This is a really interesting dupe for the L'Occitane almond shower oil. The yeah, it's like this oil, and it's it's got that sweet almond scent. It's very luxurious. This has a very it's it's got a pretty different scent. Like the L'Occitane is very fragrancy and it's very luxe, but the texture of this stuff is really close. You know, you rub it into your skin and it makes this like milky sheet all over your body and when you add water to it, it starts to break down and turns into this like milk, this cleansing milk. Um, and I love this stuff to shave with and it's definitely a lot cheaper than the L'Occitane one. So I probably will repurchase this again one day. I really like this formula. Trader Joe's nourishing shower and bath cleansing oil. I think I'm gonna buy this again one day. I really like that. That was fun to use for sure. Next, I'm gonna talk about a couple of my own concoctions that I made. So this once housed my turmeric anti-inflammatory uh, body butter. I use this mostly on my feet to deal with my, my eczema on my feet and I feel like it really helped with my eczema and I sell this on my Etsy as well as my Poshmark so you can find it there if you want to check it out or you know ask me down below in the co comments if you have any other questions about it but it's got it's got so many great skin loving ingredients, great anti-inflammatory ingredients and I use this primarily on my feet and I used it all up and um, yeah I'm gonna make some more. And then this is this is the cocoa butter butter blend that I made, and this is uh, mo primarily cocoa butter, but it's got some shea, it's got some argan oil, mar marula oil, a little bit of kapawachu, a little bit of beeswax, a little bit 
of vitamin E. It's got so many great skin loving ingredients. I, I originally made it um, as a gift for my sister when she was pregnant. Yeah, I sent over a little bit for my sister-in-law who's also pregnant right now as well. She is expecting in April, so that's really soon. <laughs> I need to check in with her and ask her how, if she got a chance to use that cocoa butter and if it's helping at all. But um, really lovely, it's really whippy. Uh, the first formula that I made it was really hard, um, so I added a lot more oils to it and to make it a lot whippier and it's really lovely. I've been I really like the the really whippy formula because it really absorbs into the skin really nicely and it's great. This was the very first formula that I ever made. Uh, it was supposed to be just like a, a, a big hodgepodge of like ingredients I wanted to use. Uh, I made it too hard though, so it took a little, uh, quite a long time to use it all up. I made it like a year ago and I finally used it up. Um, but it never went bad so because I didn't use any water in it, so it's like... It's not as fugitive when you don't use any waters in your product, which I don't in my butters generally. But yeah, I won't remake this formula, but I always make the cocoa butter formula. It's really popular. Um, it's no lovely for pregnant women, but generally it's a lovely, moisturizing, skin-loving body butter that's really whippy, really easy to absorb into the skin, and it helps with stretch marks like I get stretch marks on my giant calves. I've got giant calves, you guys. Um, I developed them from being Tweety Bird as a teenager at Six Flags. I used to wear the Tweety Bird costume and the, the, the feet were really heavy and they encouraged you to be very animated. So that was a big workout on my legs and I developed really gigantic calves while working that job and they kind of always stayed. I never really lost those calves and I still have pretty big calves. So I got stretch marks on my calves, but I feel like the 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 cocoa butter like helps them. I think they're a little bit less noticeable than they once were because uh, all the all the butters and the and the scrubs that I constantly use. I go through as you can see, I go through a lot of body butters and a lot of scrubs, so I feel like my skin's very much improving because of those things. And I'm not even done talking about body butters. Um, so I used up this, uh, the Body Shop Coconut Body Butter. I've talked about, this is the last body butter from that, like, pack of body butters that I got. I got, like, the sample pack of, like, all their body butters, or, like, all their most popular ones. I got the strawberry and the, and the mango and the... So uh, the coconut, this is the last one, I bought, I bought it almost a year ago, a year ago, and I used up all of the samples of the body butters that they had. Coconut, is, the coconut one is definitely one of my favorites, it's actually a little bit nourishing. I really like this formula, it's very lightweight, It's it's got like a spongy, squishy kind of texture, but it, it, it like absorbs into your skin really well. I think all of the Body Shop body butters have a similar texture. But this is one of the more like skin nourishing, actually great ingredients ones. I do recommend this one. Uh, the almond honey one is probably my favorite from the Body Shop, uh, but I like the olive oil one. Like, yeah, this is probably my second favorite, this coconut one. And as far as all the other scents that I tried, it's all about the scent. They're all pretty similar texture and absorbency wise. And I guess in the end, it's all about the scent that you prefer. Um, I feel like some of the fruit smells smell like candy, like they smell like Star Wars, like the strawberry and the Samsara, the orange one, especially sound, smell like strawberry. The mango one, I feel like it's a little bit more skin nourishing, but it's still like the almond honey one and this one. Those are the best ones for actually doing something for your skin. So I would recommend those two out of all the ones that I tried. And I don't think I'm going to be buying anything from the Body Shop. I think I've had my fun with the Body Shop for a little while, actually. So I won't be repurchasing them, but I've I've owned a big one of these before. I've used that up, and I've, I owned a big one of the Almond Honey. Obviously, I tried the big variety pack of all the, like, all their best sellers, all their favorites. I'm interested in trying some new other formulas. I won't be repurchasing this, but it was, uh... Now I know. Now I have, like a full understanding of so many of the Body Shop's products. I actually have another Body Shop product I'm going to share with you a little bit later on in the skincare section, but before we get into that, I think this is the last part of the bath and body section. I used up 
both of these little minis, the Coca Cabana Creme and the Brazilian Boo Boom Creme. I have two more of these, but I only like to take these on trips with me. So I took this one, the Coco Cabana Cream, with me. I think I took it with me to um, to Massachusetts when I went there for the summer and I stayed basically through the early fall. It's really lovely. They changed the scent so it doesn't really smell like the butter popcorn anymore. And it absorbs into your skin really, really quickly and Sol de Janeiro, who doesn't love their products? I love their products, but I don't think I'd ever buy this. I might want to buy a big one of these one day. I've never had a big one. I've only had millions and millions and millions of little minis coming through to me. Like I've, I've had several minis come to me through Ipsy and BoxyCharm and also when I worked at Sephora I got a little bit, a, a couple minis come to me through Sephora gratis. And I always accept it, I always love it uh, because I love, I love this product. I feel like it's not as sparkly as it used to be when I first came out. They had a lot more like little micas inside that would just make your skin so shimmery and beautiful when you put it on. But it's all about that scent and my skin loves it. My skin thinks it's really nourishing. Not so thick that it doesn't absorb, but just like just thick enough. And I like to take this stuff on vacations with me because I like having that that scent be associated with vacations, you know? And I took this with me to Hawaii when I went in December to Hawaii. So I think of this stuff when I go, when I think about Hawaii and Cuba, I took it with me to Cuba when I went there too. And then one day I'm gonna buy a big one of these guys. Uh, but I have another mini uh, somewhere of this stuff. So I definitely love the, the Brazilian Boo Boo Cream. This is the Coco Cabana Cream. I used them both, both up since the last time I did an empties video. And I will be happy to welcome them into my life again. I have another one of these minis and I have another one of these minis. So um, you'll be seeing me talk about these guys in another empties video again soon as well. All right, so let's talk about hair stuff. Um, I have quite a bit of hair stuff here. Shampoos, conditioners, uh, leave-in treatments, hairsprays, a lot of stuff. So first, let me tell you about this uh, On The Rocks Clarifying Shampoo and Lightweight Replenishing Conditioner Sample that I took with me to Hawaii. And this stuff is awesome. I actually really loved this stuff. I feel like it was so clarifying and it left my hair like bouncy and light lightweight. And I like, I like having samples of shampoos and conditioners because they're so easy to travel with, especially if you're going for like a week. I'm liable for like, if I'm going away for a week, I'm liable to wash my hair once or twice. So a sample pack is perfect for that. And I've had this kicking around from dry bar for so long and I finally used it while I took it on my trip to Hawaii and absolutely love this stuff. I think I would like to repurchase these one day because they were so great. Another shampoo and conditioner, it's the Briogeo Be Gentle Be Kind uh, Banana Coconut Nourishing Super Superfood Shampoo and the conditioner that goes with it. Another shampoo and conditioner, I got these for my birthday. Sephora was having like a 20% off sale during my birthday month and I went in there and I got my birthday gift, which was the Coca Cabana, the Sol de Janeiro duo there, um, and then I picked up this. So <laughs> these both I got in August and I used them up already. Really lovely smell, not overly like banana smelling, but my hair loved it. It left my hair like really lightweight. Remember, I feel like I would love to have both these and the On The Rocks shampoo and conditioner in my shower just to like flip back and forth with in like my ideal shower situation but this was super fun to have in my shower i really loved the smell i loved what it did for my hair i feel like my scalp did better as well i think it would be even more fun if i had longer hair you know as you can see i've got very short hair so i i don't need to be investing in super expensive shampoo anytime soon but yeah these little uh, minis they lasted me a long time actually like a good i was going through other stuff in my shower as well but this lasted me a good like two months i guess 
because I, I, I don't wash my hair too often, but yeah, I can, I can deal with minis. This I don't even remember using very much. This is uh, uh, an exfoliating shampoo from Aveda. It's a tiny little guy. I think I do remember it being a very fine texture, which was nice, but I won't repurchase this. I actually, I really loved this one. This is an exfoliating shampoo from Amiga. This is their jelly exfoliating shampoo. It's their reset, it's pink. It has a very luxurious lather and a nice fine uh, granules so you can really exfoliate your scalp. But it's really satisfying to have a very luxurious lather while you're inside, uh, inside of your exfoliating shampoo because it, it feels like you're getting everything really clean. It feels like everything's coming loose and coming away. Um, so I really love this stuff. It's actually incredible how rich the lather was of this stuff. So I think I would repurchase this again one day because it, it, it's kind of become one of my favorite exfoliating shampoos. I've actually been using a lot of exfoliating shampoos lately. You know, I've really loved the Briogeo, Briogeo in the past and I still really love that one. Uh, it's their like exfoliating shampoo with the charcoal, but I like this one better, I think. I don't know, like it's, it's because of the lather. I love that rich lather, lovely smell. Great stuff, and my scalp seemed to really love it too, so I love that. This is the Res Reset Pink Charcoal Scalp Cleansing Oil. I don't think I need a product like this. Um, this is like a, this was a 250 point perk at Sephora, and I, I don't know, I remember when it came out, I was really interested in it, so I picked it up as a point perk. I don't think I need this again. Uh, I don't, I think this is like designed for black hair, so uh, for who don't wash their hair too too often because it's such an ordeal, it's even more of an older ordeal than um, someone like me who can really get in, the, like my hair's super fine and that's why I cut it all off because it's like, it always looked bad. My hair when it was sh longer, it was always flat and always bunched up in all the wrong places. Like. Um, I, I'm, I'm much happier now as a short haired girl. But yeah, I don't think this is something that needs to be a part of my life. So I won't be repurchasing the cleansing oil. Okay, so I used up this. I have psoriasis on my scalp, so I, I got this uh, Neutrogena Therapeutic Tea Gel Shampoo. At one point at the beginning of last year, I, re I really wanted to, to deal with the, the psoriasis on my scalp and I feel like it's gone. There's like a tiny little spot of like dryness right here. And then like I have dryness all over my scalp because it's winter, but like I feel like psoriasis is just like in this one little spot, which is amazing because it used to be the entire back part of my head. And I don't know if this tea gel stuff actually worked. I, I actually really hate it. I hate Tarsum gel. This is, yeah, that's what tea gel stands for. It's tarsum. It's this coal tar extract. It smells disgusting. It's like, it's not a nice smell. It's a really annoying to use. You have to like put it in your dry hair and leave it in there for like 10 minutes to an hour before you actually get in the shower and wash it. It's such an ordeal. It really dries out your scalp. So I feel like, I don't know if, I feel like it, in when my scalp, when my psoriasis was really bad, it helped a little. But then it got to be that like I just wanted to use this, get this used up. So I, that's what I was doing. I was using this uh, like once a week or so just to get it used up. Just because I I wanted to use up some of my shampoos in my shower before I went out and buy bought any more shampoos. I'm actually really low in shampoo now, but I also don't have a lot of hair, so I think I'll be fine. <laughs> for another like month or two. But yeah, I won't repurchase this stuff. I really didn't like it um, and I don't feel like now that my psoriasis is, is like doing a lot better, I don't think I need it anymore. Um, actually, like a product like this might even make my dry scalp drier. So I, uh, I won't be repurchasing this. But if you're somebody that's really like needs a solution now and you can only go to the drugstore, this might be the thing you might want to try. Yeah, there's like a shampoo called Seabec or something like that. I've heard that, that works amazing. I might try that next time. I'm really in a pinch and really need something to fix me, but I won't be repurchasing this. Last thing is a thing I got in Sephora gratis so long ago. This is the conditioning cleansing oil from 
IGK, their, their smoke and mirrors conditioning cleansing oil. Like a cleansing conditioner that you put in your hair to wash your hair with. I used this a lot when I had my green hair um, at the beginning of last year. And it was nice in those situations where you didn't want to shampoo your hair too often because you wanted to retain the color, which is definitely what I was going for. And I didn't want to shampoo my hair too often because it was breaky and brittle and I wanted to retain that. So basically this is like a product you can use on, mo on days where you don't exactly want to shampoo but you want to wash your hair. And I enjoyed it for that but it's expensive for what it is and I kind of like made myself use it up in a way. Um, but, it, but by the end of it, I actually like grew to, to like it quite a bit. It was enjoyable to use. It didn't really weigh hair down as you might imagine, like an oil might. Like you can rinse it out of your hair and your hair seems refreshed. It was actually quite nice. It worked well. But I don't think I need this product bad enough to go out and purchase it again. So it was, it was fun while it lasted, but I won't be repurchasing it. Oh boy, there's like so much stuff. I feel like I'm never gonna get through it all, but we're, we're going, we're keeping going. Okay, so next we got John Frieda Collection Root Awakening Strength Restoring Smoothing Lotion. I actually just used this up the other day, a little sample size. I feel like my, my scalp is like more healthy. I don't know. But like, yeah, it gave a little bit of nourishment to my scalp without making it greasy and it felt really clean after I used it. So I thought this was actually kind of nice. I got this for free in a box somewhere when some like college students were moving out of my apartment building so they left it in a box and I was just like, sure, I'll try that. And I don't think I'm gonna get it again because... Uh, oh, actually, I will say that it like controls frizz. This controls frizz pretty nicely. That's pretty nice. Definitely a little bit smoothing. I will, I will say that. So this is pretty nice. I liked it quite a bit. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it. This I liked a lot. This is the Kenra Platinum Snail CC Cream. It's a two-in-one treatment for like style, and it like helps moisturize your scalp and different things. I used it primarily to help like with my scalp irritation. I felt like it was a nice emollient scalp moisturizer. I liked it too. And it was definitely did well with dealing with frizz and smoothing and breakage. Like it was a good, it was good product. I really liked it. I might try to try something else. Oh, I got a little bit out already. I'm going to put it in my hair right now. I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow. So might as well give yeah, it one last hurrah. Especially in my dry, my dry areas, which is in the back. But yeah, I like this stuff. Uh, it took me a long time to use this up. I had this for like two years, but the shelf life is about two years, so that, that tracks. I might try to get another product like this, but maybe not this one exactly. But this is nice. I liked it. Okay, I got three hairsprays. This is not empty, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of it because it's, it used to be like a pretty blue. This is the Verb Sea Salt Spray. It's like, it's supposed to make your hair like wavy, like it's been at the beach. I'd rather just go to the beach and do that. I live half an hour away from Malibu, so I might as well go do that. I'm gonna be even closer to Malibu when I move, but not by, not by much. I'm actually moving like 10 minutes away from where I live now, but like to a nicer neighborhood, to a smaller but cheaper apartment, better parking situation, closer to the cinema makeup school. Um, I'll talk about all that later on, but. I never really enjoyed the stuff. I never could get through it. I, I'm just not like a sea salt spray person and it's changed colors. I've had it for years at this point, like four years. I'm, it's time to let it go. So uh, no more verb sea salt spray. This is a thing that my boyfriend left behind. This is the So Gorgeous Body Amazing Shaping Spray. This is so 80s looking, but I used it up because it was there. Uh, very... Aquanetti, very 80s hairspray, not so special, <laughs> kind of funny actually. Won't gotta go out of my way to buy that actually. Kenra Volume Spray, the 25 hold, they're like they're, they're finishing spray. I love this stuff, this was great. I had this in my kit and every time I used it on anybody, everybody would always call like talk about how well it smelled and it did a really good job holding like it was it's it's one of my favorite finishing sprays one of my favorite hairsprays right now i have the number uh, um, 29 platinum hairspray very comparable to this but like even stronger even more like 
top coat final seal on your hair. Um, I wonder if I can get anything out of it. Yeah, there's like nothing coming out. There's a little bit of aerosol in there, but it's pretty much all gone, but it smells great. Really lovely hairspray. I really would recommend this. I had this in my kit for when I did hair, and I still do hair sometimes. I really would recommend this stuff. I love this brand. This is a great hairspray to have in a kit. Works well, smells great, amazing, I love it. Okay, we're getting into skincare now. A little bit less than I thought there would be. Okay, I guess we'll start with cleansers. I used up these Kojendo Spa Cleansing Spa Water Wipes. Uh, I got this in a BoxyCharm a while ago. Probably the nicest uh, makeup wipes I've ever tried. I'd like really felt like washing your face using the stuff and the cloths themselves were really soft and like but durable at the same time lovely stuff if you're gonna use a makeup wipe i would recommend these but i'm not gonna repurchase these because i don't use makeup wipes often um, and these are expensive at the same time and yeah um it's better to use like a cleansing oil or cleansing balm to take your makeup off with but for those days where you're like uh, i don't really feel like washing my face um, and like you're like really tired but you you should always take off your makeup. Uh, this was nice to have around for sure. Um, I really like these, I would recommend those. I might buy them again one day, but probably not anytime soon. Okay, here we got another cleanser. Um, this is the LMS Superfood Sika Calm Cleansing uh, Foam. Looks like this. I did not like this. Um, I don't know, I got sick of it. It, last, it lasted a really long time, but I felt like it left my skin a little bit dry. Um, it almost, like wasn't supposed to be for your face. I don't know. I just don't like foaming cleansers for the face. So I ended up downgrading it as a into a hand wash and I finished it off as a hand wash because I just got sick of using it as a as a face wash. It is it smells okay. It was, it was fine. It was fine, but I just didn't love it. So I definitely won't be repurchasing it, repurchasing it again, especially because Elemis is a super expensive brand. I got this in a boxy charm. And I'm grateful to get it in a, in a boxy charm, but I'm just not going to buy it again cuz so yeah, done with that. Glad I'm done with that actually. We got another Cleanser. This is the La Roche Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. Looks like this. Very much just another one of those clinical hydrating cleansers. It doesn't foam, it but it does a really lovely job cleansing your face without irritating whatsoever. Like follow it within with any product and proceed it with any product. It's not going to interfere uh, with the qualities of your other products. So that is really nice and doesn't strip your skin whatsoever. No fragrance. Very comparable to a lot of other products from La roche Posay or CeraVe or any of those like drugstore, very clinical, dermatologist approved brands. This one I would say is a little bit fancier than the CeraVe though. I prefer this over the CeraVe in the simple. So it actually reminded me a little bit of the micellar water simple uh, cleanser, but I like this a little bit better. It's got uh, ceramides and niacinamide too, so I like I like niacinamide in my cleansers. I think I when it comes time to for me to actually buy a cleanser, which is probably not going to be for a while, but I th I will probably try to buy one with some niacinamide in it. I I like niacinamide in my cleansers. I guess we'll go with this one mask that I must used up, and I finally used this up yesterday. I actually got this as gratis from Sephora back to back when I used that I used to work at Sephora but this is the the drunk elephant TLC Sukari baby facial mask it is the most intense ex, uh, chemical exfoliator that you can buy on the market anywhere it really does amazing things for your skin it, like it's a clean it makes your skin into a clean slate it really decongests everything it really sheds all the dead skin off of your face but it makes you super sensitive to the sun so you definitely have to make sure you're wearing like a 50 SPF sunscreen um, the next day especially in a place like LA which I did do today but like man is my skin looking beautiful today I might I have an exfoliator from Saturday skin going right now that's actually pretty comparable to this and then I also have my pharmacy exfoliator and I also have a Sunday Raleigh lactic acid so I don't really need a super intense exfoliator anytime soon, but damn, is this like, this is it. This is so intense. 
I do really love this product. Um, I might rebuy, uh, repurchase it one day, but not anytime soon because I have all those other exfoliators to go through and we're going into winter's over. The days are getting really long now, so um, as sensitive as this makes my skin to the sun, I'm gonna hold off on it. So next we'll talk about some toners. This toner took me forever to use up. I actually didn't love it. I thought it was a little bit too thick. Uh, this is the Body Shop, uh, Body Shop Vitamin E Hydrating Toner. Yeah, I thought it was a little bit too thick. It was a little bit too gooey and goopy. And I felt like it wasn't really like absorbing to my skin lovely, uh, in a lovely way. I much prefer like the fresh hydrating toner. So I won't repurchase this, but I did use it up. Um, and it didn't like break me out or anything, but it, I feel like it could break out somebody. like. Somebody that's really dry skin like me, um, my skin just eats this stuff up and it doesn't break out. Um, but like somebody else might have a harder time with something like this. So I won't repurchase this and I probably don't really recommend it. I, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. Okay, so this I kind of used as a toner. This is the um, Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Treatment Lotion. Looks like this. Okay, the universe just told me that I'm taking too long for this video and I had to switch my card because my card filled up. So what was I saying about this? Uh, I used it as a toner. It left my skin really soft and nice, but I couldn't quite tell what else it was supposed to do for my skin. So I won't be repurchasing it, but I did enjoy using it. So that's that I all that. Uh, yes, uh, this rose water and glycerin spray. Um, I tried to repurpose this sprayer, but it, like it really did not work. For what I wanted it to work for, so I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna recycle this container. But this is. Uh, I liked it. I liked the smell, um, and I thought it was a little bit hydrating. I I actually prefer this over the Mario Badescu ones. I I thought this was more hydrating, but it's very. It's it's a gimmick. Like you don't need this in your skincare routine. It's just like a nice thing to have. But I have like pure rose water that I got from Endure Imports. I think I'd like to use. Maybe I'll try to use that in this container. I'll try. It might be actually nice to use this time of year because because the air is so dry. And I live real. I I live in LA. It's not too far from Coachella. I've never been to Coachella. I think I I think I'd like to go ch check it out just to, just to see. I I wonder what it would be like to have this around just to like hydrate me throughout the day. I don't know. But yeah, this was fun to use. I got this at Whole Foods. Uh, but I won't repurchase it anytime soon. Um, I got, I used up this Pericone MD Firming Face Serum Sample. Uh, I remember it stinging my face a little bit and I felt like it actually did some pretty interesting stuff to my skin. Uh, but it was such, you know, it's just a sample so I only could say so much about it but I, I, I think I'd like to try it again. Uh, okay, this is a serum that I got inside of a BoxyCharm. This is the Kate Somerville Biomimicking Peptides Serum, Smooth and Firm. I, I really like this. I felt like it did make my skin barrier a little bit stronger. Uh, it played nice with other steps in my skincare routine. I thought it was a, a good serum. I don't think I will, I will repurchase it, but I did enjoy having it in my BoxyCharm and I used it all up. I have another like uh, inducing like serum going right now, so I'm going to use that up before I think about getting another protein serum. Um, but I did really enjoy this. It was nice. Okay, I used up one eye cream. This is another thing I got inside of a BoxyCharm. I've been going through a lot of BoxyCharm stuff. This is the Pharmacy Cheer Up Eye Cream. I thought this was lovely. I loved it. I don't think it brightened up my eyes much, but it absorbed really nicely. It was a right, nice thin formula. Uh, it's got This has got vitamin C. Actually, I, I think my eyes really liked it. It wasn't my, one of my favorite uh, eye creams I've ever used. So it was a little bit, I don't know. I think a younger person would love this a lot more. This is meant for like younger people. So somebody like me should really uh, have like a really emollient eye cream. Now that I'm in my 30s, <laughs> freshly into my, oh, actually I'm almost 31 now. I'm, thir I'm 30 and a half. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed using this. Uh, this is a great thing to get inside my box of charm. I use it all up. Um, the lid cracked, so I had it started to dry out by the end of it, but I, I quickly used it up after it cracked before it really, really seriously dried up. Um, but but it started to like get a little too tacky by the end of it. I, I don't even remember how I cracked the jar, but too bad that I cracked the jar because I really 
love the little red jar. I think it's cute. Um, I would have enjoyed repurposing that for something, but oh well, you win some, you lose some. Don't think I would repurchase it, but I loved every minute of using it. So, okay, we have a Laneige wa Water Bank Moisture Cream. Uh, this little sample, it was, like, it was like a step above using just water to moisturize your skin, but it did a really good jo job moisturizing, I don't know. It sunk right into my skin and it really re like improved the water content of my skin. I really like this stuff. I would actually would enjoy having it back in my life again, if at all possible. La Roche Per Se Tolerain Ultra Nuit Night Cream. Very emollient, really thick, uh, very clinical, no nonsense, but uh, really helped to moisturize and protect your skin at night and help it restore itself overnight. This little sample only had like three uses in it, but I, I liked I liked what I saw. I don't think I'll repurchase it, but I liked it. This stuff I was so sad to see go. I actually bought this for myself as a birthday gift. Um, this is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I thought it was lovely. It was like, it was emollient and it did give your skin that glassy look, but uh, still like a lovely moisturizer, like not greasy or sticky. I, I really loved it. Ugh, I wish I had more of this stuff. I think I'd like to buy it again one day, but probably not anytime soon. This stuff is expensive, but I, I loved it so much. Yeah, I don't know. I love, I love, I love it. It's been a long time since I've had my fresh, actually I just bought some fresh moisturizer, but I really miss my fresh rose moisturizer, but I have a little mini of a, of a lotus moisturizer, so it's going to be a little while before I need to buy more moisturizer. I have a lot of moisturizer right now, actually. I really enjoyed this. I really would love to have it back again, yeah. The Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, great moisturizer, loved it very much. It actually went really quickly. I used it up in like 10 days. And that's me being sparing with it, but I still use it up in like 10 days because I just couldn't stop. I, I love it so much. Um, this stuff I got in a boxy charm, and it's actually really comparable to Tatcha Dewy skin cream, but like even more glassy, a little bit more emollient, almost left your skin kind of sticky, which I like. This is the Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm. Um, I used it as a moisturizer. It's supposed to be like something to prep your skin with before makeup, but I used it as a moisturizer because I just loved how it felt. It, I loved the way it moisturized my skin. I loved, I love how it made my skin looked. It really definitely, it made your skin look like glass, which I thought was great. And yeah, there's like one use left in it, but I wanted to talk about it in this video just to like when I finally do use it up, recycle the containers and get them out of here. Uh, but this was definitely a lovely product. I really loved enjoying, uh, I really enjoyed using it. I might even buy it again one day. I loved it so much. But a really lovely container, really interesting container. I don't know what else to say about that, but uh, really enjoyed that. I used up both of the rest of my Sunday Riley oils. Bought this Juno oil. Oh, actually, there's like one use left in it, but uh, I was saving it for a special occasion and then it went uh, it went bad, so I have to get rid of it. But this is just like a really lo lovely, youth-inducing, like moisturizing vitamin C oil from G uh, from uh, Sunday Riley, and I really enjoyed using it. But I don't think I'll repurchase it, repurchase this because this is very comparable to the Brush Beauty Balm Estrella oil, uh, which I also have. Like, I don't know, like the way that this worked reminded me of that oil and that one's like less than half the price of this. So I don't think I'll repurchase this oil, but it was very fun to use. A oh, beautiful oil. And I love the Luna Sleep Night Oil from Sunday Riley. It really felt like every time I used it at night, even when I was younger, um, because I've been using this stuff for years, turned back the clock of time. I don't know, it would, it would turn back the arms of time. It would really fix my skin. It gave it, gave it bounce, it gave it reju reju rejuvenation, it was great. Uh, I think there's actually one use left in this. I got this at, at Sephora gratis. I might repurchase this again, actually, because I really enjoyed this stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's got retinol and blue tansy. And retinol is like, the, this uh, combination is like really ingenious because retinol is a product, though very effective at anti-aging, and just healing and reversing signs of aging. It's, it's one of the only things that actually makes your skin more youthful once it's actually started to age. 
and also prevent it from aging. So around age 25, start slowly incorporating a little bit of retinol into your skin. Before age 25, don't worry about it, I would say. But like around age 25, 26, that's when it, like retinol actually starts to matter. Uh, but retinol can be really drying on the skin. And though this formula, uh, the way it's encapsulated with all these skin-loving oils, it doesn't dry out your skin. And the skin-loving oils also add a little layer of protection and just love to your skin that like... I don't know, it's a perfect storm. It's a beautiful combination. I really love this oil. I think I would repurchase it again, but I think I think this is like one of my only experiences with retinol. So I might try to experiment with other retinols. I think I've only seriously used this product. I've used so many little minis in the past. This is the first like big bottle of this stuff and it's really expensive, this stuff. Uh, so I might try to find something less expensive. There's like an oil there's a retinol from The Ordinary that I might try, um, I, I might do some research now that this is out of my life, but I do definitely do want to get more retinol back into my life, and this was, I don't know, one of the best products, I really love that, so I am gonna miss it. Okay, last but not least, I used up two packages of my Huggies baby wipes. I use so many of these. These are my favorite baby wipes. I use these to clean my hands while I'm working, while I'm doing face painting gigs, as well as special effects gigs. Uh, they're, they're really handy to have on special effects gigs because when things get dirty and bloody and messy, like fake blood, not, not real dirt, not real sweat, but when you're working with that stuff, your hands get really gross. It's nice to have like tons and tons of wipes around for that reason and paper towels and, and, and the other stuff. but. Um, when you're in the field and you're nowhere near a sink, it's nice to have these wipes around, so I always buy these in bulk. I like to buy the natural care ones because they're fragrance-free, so they're a little bit better than just using water wipes or just water with paper towels. They, they deal with the stickiness a little bit better than that. And I buy these in bulk, I buy them constantly, and I'm going to keep buying them constantly because these are my favorite. They're, they're really strong and they really do a good job cleaning, so yeah. That is it guys, that is my empties video. Oh my gosh, I feel like that was took forever. But then again, it's not like I've never had a long empties video before. I do empties videos all the time. Many of them are pretty long. I try to get this through this quickly. I think I did ramble at certain points anyway, but you know, that's just me. I'm passionate about this stuff. I really love talking about stuff I've used to death uh, and that I can tell you a lot about because I used them all up. That's why I love empties videos. I love watching them. So if you make empties videos, let me know. I will check them out. But yeah, if you enjoy watching the empties videos as much as I do, definitely subscribe to this channel. I am always making empties videos, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know down in the comments what kind of stuff you've emptied out this month and what you will be replacing them with, and if you have any suggestions for me on what to replace some of my stuff with. Actually, if you... Um, I'm in the search for a new retinol, so tell me down below in the comments, like, what retinol products that you enjoy using and I'll check them out. I'm, I'm going to start doing a little bit of research on retinols because I need to replace mine. So let me know about your favorite retinol products down in the comments. And that is all for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I really enjoyed hanging out with you. Until next time, cheers. Bye!